Hey everybody, this is Clover and I'm back playing some more Earthbound. Uh, where I left off last time, I had just come back to uh, the uh, the lake at the uh, south of the uh, Winter's Teleport location, which is uh, Jeff's boarding school. Uh, but before starting this game, I did some major inventory cleanup, uh, or tried to do some major inventory cleanup. Uh, and I got out uh, the pencil eraser, which is uh, something that we will apparently be able to use in a little bit. I can't remember if I already did the, the pencil erasing that was required where we're going, but nevertheless, here we are. And now uh, I'm just going to continue on and talk to Little Monkey. Yep, I have some chewing gum. Very nice. Yes, pack of bubble gum was another thing that I uh, that I got rid of from that was in my inventory already. Uh, but I just sent that to S Cargo Express because you can't sell it. How nice! So many items you can't sell in a game with limited inventory storage spaces. Aww, Tessie always looks so happy. Yeah, let's go back. Let's get back to Tessie. Yeah, nice. Sometimes you need a little trumpet to to increase and support your mood. That was a trilling trumpet. Well, now, as we remember from last time, this uh, area has a lot uh, harder enemies than the first time we came here. Goodbye, Tessie and Monkey. We'll miss you. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, speaking of monkeys, the other thing that I got rid of was uh, Monkey's Love, which apparently just uh, summons a monkey and causes them to freeze one of the enemies, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm hopefully not going to need that. But uh, as I was saying, uh, we're kind of... Oh, I did... So uh, I did get rid of the pencil that was uh, that was over here. Are you going to attack me? I don't want to turn around because of the... P oh, 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 goodness. All right. Hmm. Okay. No. Why are you... Why are you, why are you trying to, to cap... To sneak up on me? All right, so um, the, the little sneaky thing here is that if you have the pencil eraser and you haven't gotten rid of this pencil before, then you can uh, skip this dungeon, which we are going to do. So that'll be very useful. Okay, but these are all pretty much the same enemies we were fighting the last time, which is fortunate. Uh, I'm going to wail on the lesser mook uh, because uh, the lesser mook uh, can really... Mook up my time. That's a thing, right? Okay, Jeff, use your heavy bazooka. Okay, and Poo, you can use freeze beta on the whirling robo. Let's see how this goes. Okay. All right. Okay, not very great, but still okay. All right, we're doing all right. Just fine. Okay. Yeah, nice nest. Yeah, do it. Awesome. Okay. And then we got that dude firing a beam at us, which isn't the end of the world. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, guy. Okay. And here we go. Continuing on. Now, basically, we're just heading back to... That's the Brick Road dungeon. We don't need... Oh, we could... Do I need to... I don't think I need to, to save again, because I already saved right before leaving. But uh, basically, we're trying to head back as quick as possible to Dr. Andnut's lab. Um, aw, he's going to run away because I'll be able to green him. Oh, no, maybe not. Hmm. Arachnid? Am I going to be able to? Yeah, okay. It's not very hard. I should have just been able to automatically kill it, but whatever. Who cares, right? Certainly not me. Okay, cool. Well, at least that one I'll be able to 
automatically kill because I don't want to keep setting through these, uh, these battles. Uh, very nice. Very nice. A double burger. That's pretty sweet. Okay, and that guy's running away from me too, which is good news. Aw, Crocodile is running away from me too. Aw, everybody's running away from me. Well, that is fortunate. Okay. Can't remember which one I have to go up. I think it's this one on the right. Maybe. Uh, no. No, it is not. So back down and then up the other one. Okay. I'm climbing up. I'm climbing up. And that was where I fought uh, one of the uh, soundstone location dudes, and I guess that's a soundstone location over there. The uh, I don't know whether the bears are going to want to try and... Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's see how this works. I don't know what's going to be strong against me. Um, Mighty Bear 7. That sounds... Mighty Bear 7 sounds like a, uh, sounds like a, uh, a robot. So, hopefully, we will just be able to, uh, to, um, take him out with Freeze? I don't know. And then the Cave Boy is gonna do some damage to us, too. Okay, great. How'd that do? Okay, that's not bad. Okay, nice. All right, and how do we do? Okay, that's not very strong anymore, but... Okay, so let's use fire beta, I guess. And then Jeff, you can use your heavy bazooka again. And then Pooh. Uh, yeah, why don't we try, why don't we try, uh, why don't we try thunder, thunder beta? Okay, how did that work? 155, not bad. Okay, cool. Much easier than the last time, fortunately. Okay. So let's continue on. Let's talk to this guy. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are uh, making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV, tabloids. Yes, that's Stonehenge. Okay. Great. You're a wonderful person. Okay. Ooga booga, may I help you? Waka ooga waka. What would you like? Double burger. All right, so we could get some some food here, which is nice. But I don't think I need that right now. I've been waiting for you. My master, Apple Kid, completed this eraser eraser machine. While he was uh, calling you, he was kidnapped. He felt like this. I was there, but I was but was helpless. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. Yay, we got an eraser eraser. And uh, we can do a couple... So, basically, I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to return... Yes, thank you, please. Uh, I'm going to return the uh, pencil uh, pencil eraser uh, to Escargo Express. And let me just check. Do I have anything else I could give? I'm going to give the pencil eraser back to them. Uh... Maybe the for sale sign. That might be a stupid idea, but the for sale sign might be just taking up. It's nice to always be able to sell something. So you know what? What about one defense spray? I'll get rid of a defense spray because I don't think I'm going to use that very much. Um, so I'll get rid of the uh, pencil eraser and a defense spray. Uh, okay, S Cargo Express. Yes, thank you, Tracy. Okay, please pick up. Yes, thank you. So yeah, I got rid of a lot of stuff that was in uh, that was in um, S Cargo Express as well. So hopefully we don't run into too many more storage issues. Though I'm not gonna count that out. It's just it's such a slow, laborious process to to really be able to. Uh, to remedy any uh, any storage issues you have because you have to do it one by one, basically. Uh, you could cover the bill, right? Yes. What do I want you to take? You could take the pencil eraser. Yes. 
Yes, there will be other things. Um, uh, so Franklin Badge, basically they said that it's it's worth just keeping keeping on hand in case uh, in case somebody uh, you know somebody tries to attack you with with electric uh, attack. Um, let's use defense spray. Uh, no, there will not be anything else. Yes. Okay. All right, and then let's head back inside and call Dad so he could save, uh, because we're coming up on, I think, another another hard area of the game. Uh, let's call Dad. Thanks, Dad. Okay, wonderful. Uh, let's just record. Okay, awesome. Uh, so we are coming up on, on a hard part of the game, and, uh... There is going to be one point, uh, one section where there's a, so apparently there's a, there's a low drop rate on one specific item. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're going to try and, we're going to try and use that as, uh, we're going to try and get that, uh, if we can get to that, uh, that section, b uh, between, uh, in the, in, you know, uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and get that item uh, if if we can uh, in between episodes, uh, so you don't have to see me grind. Uh, Ness used the eraser eraser. For some reason, the iron eraser statue disappeared in an instant. Okay. Now all of these uh, all of these uh, attacks are apparently Mook Senior. All of these uh, uh, battles are apparently going to be um, against. Uh, aliens and robots, which means that they are all high level. Um, it recommends that I'm between level 50 and 60, the guide that I was reading. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we will be able to, uh, to handle these, uh, with our, with our cheated levels. Okay. All right. That wasn't, that's not too bad. I mean, we're going to run into issues certainly if we, uh, if we, um, if we're facing many guys at once, but apparently this is supposed to be a very maze-like section of the game, which I'm not super excited about. Uh, but let's see, let's see what happens. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting ready to get ganged up on. There's apparently a lot of entrances and exits in this, uh, in this section of the game. Oh. Okay, and so this is the first time we were going to start fighting Starmen. Um, apparently, there's a little, uh, there's a, there's a clever way to to um, get around these guys, or not to get around these guys, but to to hit them so that you're getting back attacks on them. Uh, but uh, as you saw, I failed there. So let's see what happens. Freeze beta. Yeah, two sixty two. Nice. Okay. Ness attacks, and Starman was defeated. Okay, not too bad. Uh, a very significant contrast from where we started at the at the beginning of this game, and just getting getting uh, smacked by by the uh, the Starman. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, let's go back up. Okay, I'm gonna go into that into that door on the left. I, I don't know how much how much value there's gonna be in me um in me um uh what's it called I don't know how much value there's gonna be in me uh trying to uh trying to get all of the uh all of the items I can uh but I don't know we'll see we'll see what happens okay. I didn't even see what it said with, uh, with, um, uh, freeze beta. Okay. That wasn't terrible. Dude. <laughs> that was very fortunate. Okay. Alright, so, yes, we will have to... Ugh, oh, man. We will have to keep an eye out on the uh, on the starmen, uh, but fortunately, it looks like we're not we're not in a terrible place uh, to fight them. But um, you know, if they do get a back attack on us, then we might get 
we might get uh unfortunately very uh very uh very screwed but let's see let's see what happens okay we're doing okay on uh on pp right now uh which is fortunate i'm not having to use i'm not having to use very high uh level magics okay that was fortunate all right so apparently the the technique for the star men is to try and wait for them to do their teleport thing so you get them like one third of the way come on this dude isn't moving at all so maybe i won't be able to do it all right i think i'm gonna try and rush at him and that might not work well but oh well Yep, didn't work well. Okay. Um, so yeah, if they don't teleport, I don't know what to do. Maybe I just have to be closer. Um, fortunately, it looks like we're in a pretty good place to to be where we are right now. We're not a uh, we're not struggling too much. Okay, nice. Okay, Starman was defeated. Excellent. Okay, who is the biggest risk here because he's at such a low level? Um, spicy jerky. Very, very nice. Ooh, am I gonna? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm very happy about that. Okay. All right, there's an exit over there. There's probably gonna be an exit over here too. Okay, north or south? Ever the question. Ah! Yeah! I got it! <laughs> Alright, that was very lucky, but I did get it, which I'm very happy about. Okay, you want to do your little teleport again? Nice. Okay, so basically I just have to... I just have to be cautious, and then I'll be able to... I'll be able to knock these guys out. Uh, pretty easily. A Guts Capsule inside. Alright. I don't think that's gonna be super useful, because I haven't been using Guts Capsules, uh, but... Oh well. Okay. Thank you, Magic Butterfly. Okay. Nice. Okay, I didn't get anything there, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Um, freeze beta. Goods, Jeff, use your bazooki. Your bazooki. Okay. Alright. Jeff fires his bazooka. Freeze. Goodbye, Starman. So yeah, the, uh... Apparently after I get through this section... Nice, Paula went up. Apparently, after I get through this section of the uh, of the uh, cave, I will then have another section of the cave where it like it becomes a uh, it becomes a um, <laughs> well that foul f ooh atomic power robot. Okay, um, well. Hopefully this isn't the end of the world for us. It looks th th the music's even indicating that this is good. This guy could be a toughie. Okay. Okay. Very nice. That did a lot. All right. Two ninety three exploded into bits. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So this does the same thing as the trees, which I am gonna have to be mindful and careful of uh, when it explodes. I hope that thing goes away. Uh, but when it explodes, I'll have to uh, try and make sure to uh, um, to uh, uh, to get away from it as quick as possible. Or sorry, I'll have to I'll have to cycle through the uh, the the thing as quick as possible. Let's have him. Let's have uh, Pooh use a uh, bottle of water on himself. I can't remember if this is going to only 
Yeah, it only restores PP. Um, uh, may, I, I can't remember. Maybe only... Uh, Ness, let's use your healing. Healing beta on Poo. No visible effect on Poo. So I, for, I forget what the, what the actual situation with Poo is in terms of healing him. Uh... Okay. Uh, man. All right. Uh, now, I guess this is the situation we're in. Uh, let's use a fire gamma to try and take care of this thing as quick as possible. Jeff, you could use your heavy bazooka on the uh, atomic powered robot. And Pooh, you can freeze it. And hopefully that handles it. Nope. Well, okay. And Nest misses. Well, that stinks. Okay, exploded into bits. Okay, we're gonna take a ton of damage. Fire A. 75 damage to Ness. Okay. Let's bash, bash. Let's just try and bash it to death. That should be able to handle it. Doesn't have a ton of HP. Okay. All right. So we went all the way from 400, 500 HP to 200 HP. And of course, there's still something here. Bowl of rice gruel. <sighs> Help. Okay. Use. Okay. Let's see if I could give it to Poo. 5 HP. Man, the, they just, they were not, they were not, uh, they were not trying to make a fun game when they made this, were they? Okay, Paula, yeah, let's heal up Paula. 93, that's okay. And then, um, brain food lunch use on Jeff. Okay. Nice. Okay, well. Oh well. Okay, nothing over there. Alright. Okay. Here we are, continuing up. Alright. Oh no. Oh. Okay, well, fortunately the Starman shouldn't be terrible. Good, heavy bazooka. Uh, poo, you can use freeze also. Yeah, I'm, I'm just completely blanking on how to heal Poo. Um, I wish it was easier. I wish it was more straightforward. I wish it was clearer. Yeah, great. Yay, Pooh's at level 50. Okay. Oh my, seriously? <sighs> Bash. Offense. Freeze. Jeff, Heavy Bazooka, Poo, Freeze. All right. Okay, fortunately. Okay. Nice. Okay, and then will that take it out? Yes. Uh, well, no, I guess not. Uh, Freeze, Jeff. Heavy bazooka, poo, freeze. Okay. And he's gonna explode. Let's just get through it as quick as possible. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, nice. All right. Yeah, great, thanks, Dad. Wonderful time to call.
Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Re really helpful. Okay. All right, senior Mook senior, senior. Yeah, that one. Okay, Beta, Jeff, Goods, uh, Heavy Bazooka, and then Pulitz Mirror. Okay, nice. Okay, all right, very nice. Okay, and there's a Starman over here that we're gonna have to be careful about. Uh, I think it just teleported closer, so we're gonna have to try and get away from it a little bit. Okay. Do it one more time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. All right. This is a very mazy section. Okay. Hopefully this dude isn't... Okay, cool. I'm, I'm like... I'm, I'm wishing for the Mook Seniors because I don't want to fight those, uh, those atomic bots. I just, I think it's such a, I think it is such a, it's such a crappy thing that they put in, they put in exploding enemies so frequently in the game. Like, I don't understand the point. Okay, cup of life noodles, nice. Hopefully nobody dies. Okay, well, that was fortunate-ish. Okay, well, that'll be a little harder, but... It looks like we're finally in a point where, uh, the... The, uh... Finally in a point where the star men are gonna get a shot off at us. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Okay. Heavy bazooka, nice. Okay, cool. Starman A was defeated. And then does this take care of it? Nope. All right. And then let's just swing away and see if we can take him out. Okay, nice. Fortunate. I do not want those things to attack me. Uh, 57. Nice. Thunder Gamma. No clue what it even does, because... Okay, well, that was... Unfortunate also. Um, Paula, PSI uh, Freeze, Beta. Okay, Jeff, you could use your Heavy Bazooka. And then Poo. Why don't we... Eh. Eh, Gamma just uses too much... Too much, uh... Too much health. Or too much PP, rather. So, yeah, okay. Okay. Ness. Fired a beam. Dodged quickly. That was fortunate. And that's just everybody swing on him. And hopefully take him out. Alright, nice. Okay. Alright. Okay. Are you gonna come? Alright, and what are you? Ugh. Atomic Power Robot. I, I think I'm gonna try and, and look up how to... what the best strategy for the Atomic Power Robots is, because the fact that it's it takes so much... Uh, that it does so much damage with... Uh, with its uh, with its attack, with its death attack, is just so, so sad. Okay, explode into bits, great. Great. Thank you. It's so stupid that you have to you have to do this each time. That there's no way around it, it seems. Shield gamma or omega rather. Okay. Let's use spicy jerky. Ness is getting pretty low too. Spicy jerky on Paula. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay. All right, and here we are on to the next section of the dungeon. My goodness. 
All right. Well, I think this is where we're going to call it for today, folks, because this is where uh, we're going to start running into the superstar men. And the uh, superstar men are going to be the ones that we have to fight to uh, to get that uh, that special uh, um, weapon I was talking about. It's a weapon for Pooh, and it's apparently the only item he can equip in the game that'll raise his attack. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time between episodes trying to, trying to do that. Um, if it takes too long, I'm probably going to stop. So you might see me next uh, next episode with a lot higher levels. But anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. Uh, please come check me out on uh, all my socials, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those places. See my funny little uh, videos uh, and come check me out next week for a little more Earthbound. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye.